Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, everybody. Hello. Good evening. How was the weekend? Busy or quiet? Yeah. For me, very busy because uh, we have to prepare the, the, the protocol. I don't know protocol. The protocol of the, the reopening the, the fabric. Team. Okay, so so where do you work? I work in USA. Oh, okay. USA. Is that Carretera al Puerto? No, no it's, it's in Ilopango. It's in front of the aduana terrestre, in front of. Oh, okay, okay. Is that where they make the pencils and pens? No, uh, we we make a uh, a fabric and, and yarn for 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 yarn and fabric. Okay, all right, good. It's, it's a textile, a textile, a textile enterprise. Mess. Okay. Textile. Okay, good. All right. What about the others? How was the weekend? Did you have a weekend? Yes, a little busy too. Okay. What What did you do? Uh, I was checking some homework of my students. Okay, online. Online and my, my WhatsApp, uh, they took a, took a picture and sent me to me, and I checked the homework. Okay. How many students do you have? Well, I believe that 88. How many? 80. You say 80? Uh, 85. 85. Okay, that's a good number. You must yeah. have you must have fun with your students, Eduardo. <laughs> a little. A little. Okay, good. All right. So, what's today's date? What date is today? Somebody, please. Uh, refresh my memory. What's today's date? Do you know the date? Today is June 8. Today is Monday? Yes, Monday, June oh, okay. 8. Yes, 2020. All right. Uh, briefly, uh, let's talk about what we spoke about on, on, on Thursday. Do you remember the topics that we discussed? Ricardo, you were absent, huh? Yes, uh, I, I couldn't know the, the, because the internet is uh, many in a, in a, in a stable, the, 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 the internet. Okay. Good. Walter, you were absent too, huh? Uh, Ricardo, you, you were saying something? No, it's uh, <laughs> okay. That's okay. It's, uh, I, I don't I don't have a question because uh, I I uh, I I working I I been working in the platform. Okay, good. Is, is everything clear in the platform so far? Yes, yes. So only question when about uh, the feeling in the, is, is the very difficult because we have to, to write um, exactly when, when the, when the feel uh, space in there. Exactly. And, and sometimes, you know, that now that we're talking about the platform, uh, what Ricardo is saying is, is so true that you have to be very exact with your answers because sometimes if you put a period, that period, 
the platform might read it as the wrong answer. So if you're 100% sure that your answer is good, try to eliminate or add some punctuation because sometimes uh, even one period or one comma makes a, a, a lot of difference. So keep that in mind. Yes. Yes. All right. Uh, any, any, anything else that we spoke about on, on Thursday? Mike, Manuel, Aide. Do you remember the topics we mentioned on Thursday? Uh, not review the, the platform. What is it? Mike, you said something? Okay, uh, any questions or comments about Thursday? No? Can you hear me? You hear me? <laughs> okay, so. Okay, so when I make a question, say something, please. I get the sensation that the internet is is failing. So say <laughs> say something. <laughs> All right, good. So uh, today's topic, one of today's topic, is something very important. And uh, how many tenses are there in English? How many tenses do we have? Well. 12 is correct. There are 12 grammatical tenses in English. Simple present, simple past, past continuous, present continuous, blah, 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 blah. You have 12. Today, we're going to be discussing and talking about two of them that are very important. We're going to be using the simple past, and we're going to be using the past continuous. So, does anybody know the difference between the past continuous and the simple past? Can someone tell us what is the... Uh-huh. Rick? When the past tense is only uh, occurs in, in a exactly time in the past. Okay. And the, and the past continuous. In the past continuous is happening in a period of time in the past. Okay, good. Someone else? Uh -huh. Josue? Could you repeat the question, please? Uh, uh, if you know the differences between the past continuous and the simple past. Ah, uh, past, past continuous is when you are doing or people doing the the action right uh -huh. and simple pass is it's over okay good someone else i need your opinions pass continues is uh -huh. when the action we start in the past and that action does uh, it's not all in, we continues uh, doing the action okay all right anybody else okay so it, it's it's very simple the simple past is for actions that are finished i went to guatemala last year I have five children, it's, it, and it's over, no more. Uh, I broke my leg three years ago. It's completely finished. The past continues makes reference to an action in progress in a particular time in the past. So the past continues is in progress. The simple past comes and interrupts. You say, I was taking a shower when you called. I was driving my car when I saw an accident. So you're driving your car 
and boom, you see something. So that accident, you know, interferes with your attention uh, uh, while driving. So this is what I want you to do. I'm going to ask you to work in pairs and talk about the differences between the past continuous and the simple past and see how you can use it to talk about the different things you did on the weekend. Uh, are the instructions clear? Please, could you okay. Yes, uh, I'm gonna ask you to work in pairs and you talk about the, the, the different activities you did on the weekend. And also mention uh, what you remember about the simple past and the past continuous. Is it clear? Yes. All right, here we go. Transmitiendo video. Uh -huh. Teacher, could yes. you repeat the, the instructions, please? Yes, uh, uh, all you have to do is talk about the different activities you did on the weekend and also to uh, mention the differences between the simple past and the past continuous. Okay. Is it clear? I think. Yeah, it's, it's, it's your 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 audio. We can we lose the signal. Okay, but, but I, I I I think I I understand. Let me explain to the other. All right, good. Looks up. Yeah. What? Oh my God! I don't know why my I don't remember any verb in past in this moment. <laughs> okay, don't worry. I'm going to, I'm going to be focused. Um, well, for going example, to when you describe, <laughs> for example, um, playing, I was playing some video game. And I win. And what, is, what else? I don't remember what I did. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes, I was watching a lot of um, videos because it was a congress mm -hmm. online, online congress. Uh -huh. And it, <laughs> in, I remember that. Around five, five different topics and five different speakers? conferences. I don't, I don't. Oh, know. conferences. Speakers? Uh -huh. Okay, speakers right. and it and it was wonderful. <laughs> and what was the topic of the conferences? It. It was about, for example, 
how you organize your home and about minimalism. I don't know. Okay. I don't know. And, and also how you can do your Um, uh, for example, your shampoo or oh, other things like that. <laughs> okay, so it was like about being creative, maybe? maybe? Creative, what? It may be about being creative, maybe? How to be an entrepreneur. Okay, yeah. Yes. <laughs> All right. <laughs> And I, I take a, 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 I took a recipe in the afternoon on, on Saturday. Ah, okay. And Saturday, well, actually I don't remember what I did, but um, I used to watch a lot of TV and I will tell you my day. My day could be, I woke up around 1 p.m. <laughs> because Saturday, you know. Yes. And the last week, uh, I am studying in the university and the last week we don't have classes. We don't have class. So. Uh, you, didn't, uh, you, you didn't have a class. Uh. I, I did not, uh -huh. I did not have class. So I rest. I really rest all <laughs> weekend and all the week. Yeah. So, but Saturday I was I was watching a movie, and which one are you doing? Hi, teacher. Hello. Who's your partner, Hello. Walter? Carlos Alvarenga, but I don't, I can hear them. I can hear today. Okay. So how's your life, Walter? Excuse me? How is your life so far? I can answer. How is your life? My life? Yeah. Well, I married, I just like, I just right here with my wife. Where do you and live? She, we, she is the, right now in Santa Tecla. Okay. For the pandemic. Okay. But, but I remember. When this uh -huh. is going to return to Lourdes. Okay, what part of Lourdes do you live? When this finish, I go into Lourdes. Okay, so you're living with your father and your mother uh, right now? In this moment, yes. Okay, fine. In what part of Lourdes do you live in? Yeah, I live in, uh, in the Polideportivo. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I remember a time that we were in the same bus and we were speaking. Remember? Yes, I, yes, I I going to that my work today. Right. Yes, and, and I also mentioned to you about this program. I think is this your first uh, uh, level in Insafor? Yes, in my first. Okay, fine. All right. Teacher, I, I want to say yeah. something. Yes. Uh, I, I have a problem when, uh, with uh, exercise in the pro platform. Okay. In the lesson, in the lesson two, okay. in the last exercise, the, the instruction says, read the cycle, then answer this question, Answer the question. Answer uh -huh. this question in short form. Yes. And I complete as the all all points. 
Yes. But the last point is I write and every answer, I write sentence and the platform say that's incorrect. Okay. Have you tried yes. changing the, uh, the punctuation? Yes, I try more or less 15 minutes, write different sense and not, okay. not correct. Okay, maybe you can take an, uh, an image of, of where you are exactly and you send it to me so I can check uh, and, and give you suggestions. Okay, I said in the group or private? Private. Private, yes. Or you can send it in the chat okay. too. Right now, I send. Okay, good. All okay. right. So let's go. Let's go back to the main session. Okay. All right. Do you have any questions? about what you spoke about? No questions. No? No, no. All right, so let me, um, where are we? Share screen. Okay, this is in the in the platform. I don't know if you guys have gone this far, but this is the first topic of the second unit. Past continuous yeah. versus simple past. Now, this is something that you guys should be very familiar with. When you go to a job interview, uh, the person asking you questions, they will ask you things, not because they're interested, but to see how well you speak certain uh, topics, like in this case, uh, 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 past continuous or simple past. So I need a volunteer to read the introduction. Uh, use the past continuous for an action in progress. In the past, use the simple past for complete action. Good, thank you. So look, the definition Ricardo just read is very simple and is completely true. Use the past continuous for an action in progress in the past. For example, if I ask you, what were you doing yesterday at 3 p.m.? What were you doing yesterday at 3 p.m.? What would be your answer? Uh, it's, um, I was reading a, a book. Good. I the, was reading a book. The, the, yesterday. I was oh, yes. working. I was working. My job. Okay. I was working. I was watching TV. I was watching TV. So as you can see, I said yesterday, okay, Kimberly was taking a nap, All right? That's a good one. So um, all your answers came with the past continuous. I was reading a book, I was watching television, I was taking a nap, and uh, I was working. So everything comes with the past continuous. Now, if you make a combination of the past continuous with the simple past, the simple past will interrupt what you were doing. So look at the first example. I was watching a movie, but I fell asleep before the end. So you fell asleep, and that was the end of, of watching a movie. Look at the second one. I was working at a boring job when someone offered me a much better one. So the offer interrupted the place where you were working. 
And then the last one you said, while I was shopping one day, a celebrity walked into the store. So you were shopping and someone famous walked in the store. So as you can see, you were checking or buying, paying, and then someone famous came in, uh, in the store. I was giving you the example. I was driving my car when I saw an accident. I was watching TV when my sister came. I was shopping one day when I saw my ex-boss. So as you can see, all the sentences on the right side, they interrupt what was happening on the left one. Um, when you use past continuous, you always will use was or were in the ing form of the verb. So remember, you use was for I, he, she, it. All the others, you're going to use were. In the simple past, if the information is positive, the form of the verb is going to be in past tense. Any questions or comments? No how, do, how do you pronounce this word here? Offered. 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 And how do you pronounce the other one? Offered. Walked. 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 Very walked. good. So offered and walked. So let me show walked. you this here. Walked. Okay, you see the picture? Yes. yes. Okay, so it says Elizabeth graduated last summer. I wanted to take her picture, so she smiled and I photographed her with some of her friends. So all of these verbs are regular. Why are they regular? Because, because you ED. exactly because you have you use ed. What's the function of ed? You conjugate the verb to the past tense. As you can see, here you say graduated, here you say wanted, and here you say smile, and here you say photographed. So we have when you're pronouncing ed. For verbs in past, you have these three options. If the termination of the verb is this, the ED sounds like T. So you say helped, washed, and cooked. If the termination of the verb is this right here, then ED will sound like a D. And you will say played, lived, in rain. rain. And yeah. then, if the verb finishes in D or T, then the ED is going to be pronounced exactly the same way that you're writing. So you will say waited, wanted, and needed. This is a sound. This is a sound. One. This is an extra syllable. So you say helped, you say played, but if you notice in the last group, ED is an extra syllable. So this is how you, how you pronounce ED in the past form. Uh, any questions or comments about this paper? No. No question. No question. Okay. Hold on. Let me just so you can have it as reference. I'll send it to you right now. So if I'm using the simple past tense, what is the auxiliary that I use to make questions? Please. Yeah. Good. 
You use did. What happens to the verb? The verb is in present okay. when you use this. Base form. Base form. Base form. Yes. Uh, did you eat dinner? Did you go to work? Did you call your brother? You make a question using did in the form of the verb stays base form. Now, when do you use was or were? Yes. In a affirmative or negative form. Okay, so you can use uh, was or were for positives or negatives. Uh, do you see the image? Yes. yes. Okay, you yes. use okay, you use did for actions. You use was were for conditions. So I gave you the example. Did you work today? Did you sleep enough? Did you read the newspaper? All the examples are related <laughs> with actions. Now, if you want to talk about conditions in the simple past tense, you're going to use was and were. I was sick. Is that an action or a condition? Condition. A condition. It's a condition. It's Yesterday a condition. was sunny. Action or condition? Condition. Condition. So uh, once again, did is for actions, was and were are for conditions. Uh, any questions so far? No. No? Any question? Okay. All right, so I'm going to send you this image to the chat. If you want, you can take a, a screenshot here too. So I'm going to assign you to work in pairs and see if, um, if you guys can get the answers. Let's see. Okay. One, two, three. All right, so here we go. All you have to do is get the answers for each one. Here we go. Did you have? Jose? Yeah. Did you ask anything? No, I, I'm, I'm just to start the first one. All right, good. Where, were Where was? Because was is the, the verb to be in yeah. past, so where? Was you yesterday a sick 
o'clock. But you is work because uh, is yeah 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 yeah. And I get it. You were <laughs> where were you yesterday at six o'clock? Yeah. Where were you yesterday at six o'clock? <laughs> okay. Thank you. The number four. Is, yes, thank you. The number four is it is where. No. Where? It's, yes, it's where because it's a surprise. The... Where is surprise? Ah, the and... uh -huh, where surprise. Oh, yeah. uh -huh. Surprise. Okay. Number yeah. five. When my sister wow. was. It is correct. It was 13. 13 years. Yes. Old. Yes. She, she, she was. She was. She was a cheerleader. Okay. I'm, I'm not sure the, the pronunciation. Uh, cheerleader. 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 Okay. okay. Can be. We, we, where? I think we. No, because. Yeah. We did not. We did not. We didn't. Yes, we because the the the. Uh, ah, you right. Because the the verb the verb sin is not is not include yes. ing ing. Yeah. Yes. You're right. Okay. Number four. And the, uh, number four. And they, they were surprised. They were surprised when they were she entered. She entered. And to image. The first image say the sample uh, with the exercise. In the second image is the last image when teacher Francen is the is a exercise. That we must to do right now is a theory sentences or theory exercise. Yeah. Can you explain in Spanish, Walter, please? Okay. Este, el profe Frank en el grupo de WhatsApp envió dos imágenes. La primera imagen. Okay. Number seven. She didn't play. Didn't play. Did not play volleyball yesterday. Because, because I don't know what to say here. Um, because I don't know. Which number are you doing? Number seven, but I can see the, the last part next to because, because it's difficult to read that imagine teacher. The, the image. Okay, I number, think. <laughs> Sorry. Ill. Number seven. Yes, the last word is ill, which is a synonym of sick. Ah, because B was exactly was 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 ill. Ill. Yes. Was ill. Ill is is synonym above the sick. So I can ask you, oh, sick. Ver Veronica, how is your sister? And then you said, oh, not too good. She's ill. So that means ah, she's sick. Sick. Okay. Yes. Thank you. All right. Synonym of sick. Synonym. Okay, synonym. Yes. Okay, number eight. eight. Our, Our teacher was very, <laughs> right? Was very kind yesterday. So she she did not she give. did not give us and test. Okay. Test. Any test? Any test, okay. Okay. So number four, they, they were. Yes. They were sur surprised when she entered the room. Yep. Any test? 
Okay, nine. The police mm -hmm. did not catch the water. The the water. The Robert. Ro Robert. Robert. Yes. Robert. Ah, okay. The rubber. Yeah. He was very fast. He was very fast. Yeah. Number ten. My friend was afraid of this dog because because it's because he had he had it. Are you doing number ten? Okay. No. Next. <laughs> Someone. <laughs> Uh, okay. Excuse me? Wh which number are you doing? Number number 10. Number 10. Okay. Yes. So my friend was afraid of his because dog because he had bitten. 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 Bitten, bitten. bitten someone. Yes. Okay. Bitten. Exactly. Yes. Bitten someone. Okay. Very angry. Woman. Okay. Level eleven. We are. We. Did your, okay. did, no, your brother, was your brother did, at the party yesterday? Yes. Oh, was. Did. Was. 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 Your brother yes. at the party yesterday. Yeah, uh huh. Uh, I didn't see him. Right. I didn't see. Mm hmm. She was not, wasn't not. No, she right. did not take, she did not take. Huh? His. But it's a bride. 20, 20. Uh, 20. He, he yes, 20. Ah, 20, sorry. Yeah, I think yes. 21. <laughs> she, she, she was, was not, not surprised. Sorry, she I think either. 21. She was and then, not surprised. He was not, no. He was not surprised. Uh, he yeah, that's all right. Uh, 21. Uh, he did not take his books. But, okay. Books. Did not. But I didn't like what I did not like. The mouse is very difficult to read. Okay. Number uh, 16. He didn't, he, he didn't finish his work. His, his task. His task. Yeah, yeah he did it. The okay. 17. 17? Yes, yeah, 17. Did she go, uh, yes. There. Did she go there alone? Uh, yes. Uh, Was. Did the, uh, not she Was. Not she afraid? Was. Was, uh, Was was not. I'm not sure, but but I think that it is the option. Wait, which number? Number number, number seventeen. Seventeen. Did and she the, go there alone? Was not she afraid? Okay. Ah, uh, was not she afraid? Yeah, yes. Uh, yeah. Ah, uh, yes. Was it she afraid? Uh, okay. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, the Thank number you. 18, my best friend. Mm -hmm. Finish his test. Okay. Uh, did she go? Where did she? Did she go there alone? No. Uh, did not she afraid? No. Not really. Was not she afraid? She uh -huh. afraid. Mm -hmm. Was not yeah, she it, afraid. it sounds a little bit strange because usually people use contractions. So say, wasn't she afraid? Wasn't she afraid? Um, okay, but yeah. it wasn't she afraid? Mm -hmm. My yeah. best friend. Film. But I, I not like 
the main address. The main address. But I was not okay. live. Oh, yeah. The, okay, the 16. 16. He was not finished. He's that? It's so difficult to read. Yes, almost don't understand. Yeah, it's 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 kind of difficult. I think I'm gonna have to uh, eliminate this document next time. <laughs> yes, please, because well, maybe, I maybe use you, glasses. Okay, <laughs> maybe you can take a picture with uh -huh. on the computer, but closer. Yeah, yeah. I will do that. Yeah, that's a good idea. Maybe you can do two pictures, half and half. All right. Yeah, that'll be even better. Yeah. Okay. Good suggestion. Thank you. You're welcome. What about that? Uh, yes. I we understand the vocabulary. We don't have problems to translate, and do you understand the ideas? And you sound like a teacher, Eduardo. Hello? You sound like a teacher. <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> that is my profession. <laughs> that is my profession. <laughs> did you guys finish all the exercises? Yeah, yeah. we did. Finish. Okay. Any questions or comments? Mm, no. no. All right. Let me visit one, just one more group, and then we'll go back to the main session. Okay. Uh, no. He didn't take his. Uh, he was. I, he was so. Uh, he was absent-minded yesterday. Absent. <laughs> uh, in my case, I don't know the meaning about that word. Yes, a bitch, a bitch, a bitch, The number, the the number twenty 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 one. Is a is a he didn't he didn't take his the 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 the, the, the his books book. his books books ah books books <laughs> yes yeah yeah books. the 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 writing uh here is 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 a little bit difficult to understand yes yeah so yes. I'm I'm going to uh modify uh this document next time that I use it. Yes. <laughs> All right, so let, let's go back to the main session. Okay. Okay. All right, are there any questions about this document. I know that the writing, because it's cursive, is a little bit difficult to read. Um, and I will, I will do something with it later on. Um, any questions? No question. No, teacher. Yes, the 21 sentences, please say, teacher. Yes, he did not take his books. He was so absent-minded yesterday. Did you say 21? Yes, 21. I, I don't understand the second part. He when was, you, uh -huh. he, was saw, um, he was so oh. absent-minded yesterday. Absent Absent minded. Yes. That means that. Absent minded, like distracted. Mm. Distracted. Distracted. So let's say you're, you're driving your car and you cross a red line by accident. You say, oh my God, I am so uh, absent minded today. So you're thinking about things and you're distracted. Absent-minded. Absent-minded, yes. 
Absent-minded. <laughs> yeah. How do you say absent-minded in Spanish? Monday. Distraído. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. O ausente de la mente, maybe. Nah. <laughs> yeah. Abs absent-minded. Absent-minded. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Sure. Okay. Um, so, um, number one is he was very happy yesterday because he bought a new red car. Number two, where were you yesterday at six o'clock? Mary was looking for you and did not find. Okay. Number three, we did not sing this song at the concert. Number four, they were so surprised when she entered the room. Number five, when my sister was 13 years old, she was a cheerleader. Number six, it was very hot. That's why we decided to go to the beach. Number seven, he did not play volleyball yesterday because he was ill. Number eight, our teacher was very kind yesterday, so she did not give us any test. Number nine, the police did not catch the rubber. He ran very fast. And number 10, my friend was afraid of this dog because he had been some. Any questions about the answers that I just read? No question. No, no this clear. Okay. So, um, any any comments or any questions related with the simple past or the past continuous? No. 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 Teacher. Yes. So no questions. All right. So um, since, all right. Since you guys have a an image of of this um, picture, try to read it again. And if you come out with any questions or comments, you guys let me know. So we're going to stop here right now. Uh, thank you very much for your time. We continue tomorrow, same place, same time. Have a okay. good night. Okay. Good, good night. night. Bye. 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 Bye.